Hey guys, welcome back to another little short video. I couldn't think of anything to post. So yeah, I'm just going to be telling you how to get quite a bit of money on Grand Theft Auto. Some Fallout 4 may be coming to this, to like my channel. Uh, Red Dead Redemption 2 story mode might be, I don't know. Lock games could be. These now, I got PlayStation now. Not just PlayStation Plus. So, I'm hoping to do a lot more games. And I'll be looking at suggestions on what to play in the comments. But, yeah. So, really, how to make money in Grand Theft Auto, in my opinion? The best way by just spamming the Kyle Perico heist. Because, like, the Kyle Perico heist alone, uh, it can get you up to around, like, uh, close to 2 million a lot of times. Like, a million and a half, somewhere around there. So, yeah, you just do this a couple times, and then you'll have about a million and a half every time. First, first time around, I think you'll get more than normal. But, yeah. I think if you complete it in less than 15 minutes, you'll get more. Of course, that's why I saw on a video with uh, GG or the Gaming Gorilla, something like that. Yeah, the Gaming Gorilla. T T G G. Yeah. That is really one of the best ways, in my opinion gets you from A to B with, uh, if you do it a lot and have a lot of practice with it, you can easily do it in around 30 minutes. So yeah, I may do a heist one time. I'm doing this alone. So yeah, I've been having my friend with me. Or, not my friend, my cousin, but I keep calling him my friend a lot of times. But yeah. Actually, yeah, one of my friends do sometimes hop in whenever he gets off. But yeah. But that's really easy. And a lot of times I just speedrun it without any of my friends doing anything. So, like I said, practice is key. First time around, we messed, like, like, we messed up a couple times. Then we did it. Like, uh, on the fifth try or something. But yeah, you can see. You can see. That's not really that hard to do things. A lot of times. If I ain't even shoot this guy. Ah, uh, I think. Ah. Uh, hold up. Yeah, that's just a little thing with like this. But yeah. Really simple, the only hard part I feel is the preps. Because if you're in a full lobby, yeah, that's what I said it would be, yes. Good. But if you if you do this on PlayStation 4, you can easily get into a solo type of lobby. Going inside a public solo lobby is you have to mess with your internet. Uh, what you click is uh, custom settings, you click your internet, and then, uh, I believe this is only for PlayStation 4, but yeah, you click internet, you go through everything, put it on automatic or whatever you do, but T-U-M or M-T-U or something like that, you have to put it, it'll say um, that it's uh, 1,500. Put it on 800, that always works for me. Well, almost always. Uh, there's like one time it didn't work for me. But yeah. Then you can easily do this without anyone ish having an issue with you and well, without you having an issue with anyone else. 
So you see there's a lot of jets at all times. A lot of oppressors. Uh, of course I use oppressors a ton. But that's because oppressors are key for doing business. So most oppressor people, uh, yeah, they can be easy and good, but I wouldn't recommend them. Uh, I wouldn't recommend make it, trying to make friends because that can have an issue. But yeah. But yeah, anyways. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, and yeah, see you guys in the next one. Peace.